All right, all right, all right, you guys. We are back once again with DL Behavior. This is DL Bill, and welcome to the Chill with Bill show. Hey, we're going to get into it. Bobby Althoff, some of y'all may know her, some of y'all may not. This girl, uh, it has been said that she is an industry plant, right? And so the reason why is because she started off as a TikToker, and um, she started a podcast And the first podcast got 800,000 views. And then the second one, uh, let's see here. Hold on. Let's, we want to, we want to make sure we, we got the numbers correct here. Hold on a second. Let's see. So this is her YouTube right now. I don't, I think she has like 3 million TikTok followers. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, how many, uh, cause I don't, I don't follow her or anything like that, but she has got on her first podcast, um, uh, with Rick Glassman, she got over 800,000 views. Her next one with funny Marco got 5 million views, right? 4.9 million. So this girl comes out of nowhere seemingly and gets, uh, and, and starts all of a sudden she, she's blast off. Right. And her story is that, uh, she put out a, a post Um, basically offering $300 to anybody who could hook her up with somebody famous to, uh, do a podcast with. And then this is, this is how it blew up supposedly. Right. And she here, let's, uh, let's see. Boom. Yeah. Uh, here, hold on. What else I got? Um, dun, 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 dun. we'll just leave it like that. So her husband, Corey Althoff, uh, it has now been said that he has filed for divorce, right? And that's what this is all about. These women blowing up their families, blowing up their marriages. Um, here, maybe it's us weekly. Let's see if we can get, I think I had, no, yeah, no, that's not them. That's their Twitter. Hold on a second. Was it people? people so let's talk about this a second right people magazine has bobby althoff's husband Corey althoff filed for divorce on wednesday seeking to end their marriage in court documents obtained by people Corey, 34 listed it irreconcilable differences irreconcilable differences as the grounds for divorce he listed july 4th 2023 as the date of separation three years and five months after their marriage on january 31st 2020. Corey is also seeking joint physical custody and legal custody of their children, Corey and Bobby. 26. Our parents, two daughters, Isla, one, and Lucia, three. I'm not sure how you say that. Luca, Lucia. The software company executive also checked off a box to block the court from awarding spousal support to either party. I'm not sure what she's worth right now. I honestly don't think it's that much, if anything. Uh, He's apparently a millionaire. I I haven't looked up his net worth, but uh, that's what I've read. People has reached out to Corey's lawyer for additional comment. Um, In an Instagram post after the divorce, Bobby wrote, she will always be friends and always love Corey, right? Uh, I just want to point out she is wearing her ring finger in that picture. This is probably an old picture of them. Um. She posted in this post, as most of you have heard, Corey and I have filed for divorce. Well, he filed for divorce, it seems. As sad as I am right now, I am so thankful for the time I got to be his wife. Our girls our girls are so lucky to have him as a father, and I am so lucky to be able to co-parent with such an incredible father slash person. While our relationship did not work out as husband and wife, we will always be friends, and I will always love him. Um, let's see. Bobby began her career as a social media influencer on TikTok and initially focused on her life as a young mother. Her fame took off in 2023 when she started the really good podcast. So she wasn't famous on TikTok, apparently, you know, whatever. I don't know what famous on TikTok means, but where she interviews celebrity with a deadpan humor and asks uncomfortable questions. Her interviews with Drake, Little Yachty and Mark Cuban went viral last year. And the Drake one is the one that we're going to talk about because the Drake one is no longer on her on her uh youtube and we can verify that um it is gone and the reason why the drake one is so controversial 
is because apparently this is her third, I guess, third interview, fourth interview, whatever. Um, and she just jumps in his DMs and says, when are you going to be on my podcast? And he just says, let's set it up. That is not organic. No, Drake ain't answering DMs, okay? I'm sure his DMs go bing, 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 right? It's just like it, if the the if the phone has to play the entire sound before it can play it again, I bet it's just that wall-to-wall notification sounds, right? So um, she says that after her interview – with funny marco which garnered five million views i don't i mean whatever you can believe it if you want she says that after that interview he liked some of her videos some of the posts i don't know what when it was and followed her so when he followed her she followed him back and then jumped in his dm and said, when are you going to be on my podcast? Right? Like, I, I mean, whatever, you, <laughs> whatever. This is the reason why people think that she's an industry plant because it takes a specific kind of setup in order to kind of do this, right? You're not just, this doesn't happen organically. This doesn't sound organically, you know, con- con- contrived. Right. Um, so let's just, Let's just watch a little bit of this. Bobby Altoff is a podcast host I'm sure most of us have seen as she's gone super viral over these past few months. From interviewing people like Drake and Shaq to featuring on the Today Show, Bobby Altoff has been everywhere. But this has left many people wondering, where did she come from and how did she get here? Many people have even suggested that she is one of the first ever podcast industry plants. It's actually one of the first things that comes up when you search for her on YouTube. So today I wanted to investigate how Bobby Altoff was able to secure interviews with people like mark cuban and drake even though she just started out and i was able to find a few clues that may help us figure it out first i want to say there's a ton of videos on her already on youtube and i've seen every single one but no one's been able to figure out how she's gotten into this position most of it's just been speculation with a few facts here and there so i took it upon myself to to find out a ton of information about her and it may help us solve this case but one thing about He said he reached out to Bobby to do a podcast on her already on YouTube, and I've seen every single one. But no one's been able to figure out how she's gotten into this position. Most of it's just been speculation with a few facts here and there. So I took it upon myself to find out a ton of information about her, and it may help us solve this case. But one thing about Bobby's explosive growth is that I bet she's got a ton of finances now that are hard to keep track of, which is why this video is brought to you by Rocket Money. I always told myself that I would never have so many subscribers. Super handy, and like I said, I'm using Rocket Money to help. Come on, man. To a smart saving. I mean, the 3.4 to try to save my money, be smart with it, and do all that stuff. So I highly recommend this app. It's super. Is this the balls to get started today? I guess. Okay. Video. So first, let's talk about what we know. Bobby Altov first appeared on most people's TikTok for you pages when she interviewed the comedian slash content creator Funny Marco. There were a ton of funny moments because both of them have a really awkward, deadpan sort of humor that worked out really well for an interview. More clips of her interviewing other people began circulating, such as her interview with Rick Glassman and her interview with Armani White. Bobby began blowing up as many people found her very entertaining, and clips from her interviews were dominating TikTok. But there were also plenty of questions about where she came from, as her rise was was very quick and she only had about three podcast episodes out. However, this question wasn't super prominent until the fourth episode of her podcast when she went mega viral because she secured an interview with Drake. This interview was huge and garnered over 11 million views before it was deleted. More on that later. Clips were going around all over TikTok and everyone was talking about it because it was pretty funny, especially seeing a superstar like Drake in a more open and awkward environment. Bobby was blowing. I just got to point out. Look, this is here. We're going we gonna to come back to this, but I want y'all to look at this. Let me let me just zoom, find a spot here real quick where this makes sense. Hold on. Took them a little bit to. This is the interview with Drake, which uh, has been taken down off of Bobby's uh, YouTube here it took oh there it is it took a while for me to find for them to get into this frame i don't know what happened let's look at this 
So this is her fourth interview. This is the one with Drake. And I'd have to look and see when this came out. This looks very intimate, right? And I mean, they got the candles. He's drinking. I'm not sure if she is or ends up drinking. I didn't watch this whole thing. Um, and there's speculation that the reason why this video is no longer there is because um, apparently they played Rack City. They played Rack City in this interview. I don't know where. I haven't watched the whole interview. Um, but supposedly because they played Rack City, Drake's management was able to get a copyright strike because Universal owns Rack City. And because of the copyright strike, the 30 million views on this video would not have been able to be monetized by um, the channel. And so they decided to take it down supposedly right this is another one of these rumors right i can't i don't know where rack city's playing in here because i didn't watch the whole thing i haven't heard rack city playing in here and i don't understand why they couldn't just cut it out uh if that were the case you know what i mean like just edit out the part that has that song in it it's, it's not that off um but maybe i'm missing something so if i am and you guys know what it is point it out but back to my original situation my original comment about this particular shot right here this is crazy are you okay with the mother of your two kids being in a 30 million view youtube video where she is in bed with drake interviewing him he's drinking and i assume i mean that could be sweet tea or whatever i don't know but or uh, strawberry lemonade, but I doubt it. Um, they're chilling, and there's less than two feet of space between them in bed. She's wearing a, a whole T-shirt. All the other interviews I've seen, and maybe I'll go back, she looked a little bit more elegant, you know what I mean? But she's wearing a T-shirt. The only thing about this interview that, uh, that gives away that this is a married woman is she's wearing her ring still right this is um this is crazy are you okay with your kids seeing this right their kids are one in three right now but these videos live off, live in infamy right so there's a lot of speculation as to whether they slept together or he offered or if there's some kind of like um there was an issue with the interview a lot of it's been chopped up there may be footage that wasn't released to the public you know what i'm saying but um, so you can, you know, draw from your own conclusions on that stuff. Right. But just the optics of this by itself. Right. Seem pretty terrible um, from the standpoint that her husband is a software executive. So he's the man. Apparently he makes, you know, uh, you know, he does well for himself, makes some millions. Um, he's got two kids with this girl. You know what I mean? They've been together for uh, long enough. He probably thought he was getting one kind of woman and this is crazy right so the backlash from this interview could be enough for him to make want to split however my thing is is that most men uh especially men who go file divorce uh, over irreconcilable differences um and specifically requesting no alimony on both sides they're not doing this because of optics Right, that he wouldn't separate and break up his family because of just a weird looking video. Something pretty bad had to happen. And I would say infidelity is probably on the table for this situation. I, I don't know, I don't have this information, but for a man to want to break up his what his marriage and uh and something usually pretty bad has to happen. There has to be uh, you know domestic violence physical issues you know just like uh theft or or, or like you know something cra most of those things even you know a lot of times a man will go through a lot of bullshit you know what i mean before he breaks up the family infidelity that's it that's the you know you sleep with another man it's over with right especially for a man who has value who values himself and has value right so, um, so let, 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 let's get back to, let's get back to the video. I just wanted to show you guys that that is the interview. We're not going to watch the interview. It's 55 minutes long or whatever. And, uh, you know, you can watch it. I'll link it in the video up and she was even topping the Apple podcast charts. This led to tons of people assuming that she was an industry plant because how else is someone going to get Drake as a guest on the fourth episode of their podcast? It didn't help the accusations after she followed up her Drake interview with a Lil Yachty interview, a Mark 
Cuban interview and a Tyga interview. But then there was some drama. About a week after posting the Drake interview, it was taken down, and both her and Drake unfollowed each other on Instagram. There were a ton of rumors as to why this happened, and the main one was that Bobby slept with Drake and then divorced her husband. Married podcaster Bobby Alpha forced to address Drake hookup rumors after the leading bout interview. So it, I did. I thought it lasted a couple of months. It didn't last a couple of weeks. Like it was gone, right? And this was published August seventeenth, twenty twenty three. Um, and you, and you know, and we'll watch. The, I'm sure he'll talk about the Mark Cuban thing, right? But uh, but what I wanted to point out is that. Let's see, blah, 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 where was it at? He listed July 4th, 2023 as a date of separation, right? So, I mean, we in, you know, February and we just now, you know, seeing the court documents and all that stuff, right? But this was published August 17th, right? Rumors, d divorce, right? Um, so... I mean, somebody knew, right? The information went out there. Been. Then Dave Portnoy chimed in and kind of upped the rumors, which led to Bobby making a statement claiming. That okay. I am not commenting publicly, but off the record, you're right. That is not true. So my girlfriend says you hooked up with Drake and got divorced. I am saying that's not true. She's saying that's not true. So, and do they even, uh, I can't remember what date. This is, this is August, right? Uh, the Dave Portnoy thing. We'll have to look if they show you. And then divorced her husband. Then Dave Portnoy chimed in and kind of upped the rumors, which led to Bobby making a statement claiming they were all untrue. Little editor's note here. I forgot to mention that the sentence, I did not want to do this podcast in the first place, and now so much negativity is coming from it, was a pretty controversial sentence from Bobby. A lot of people thought this meant the Drake podcast or her entire podcast in general. But I think when you understand the context, it's actually pretty obvious she's talking talking about the beat. Yeah, and I, I was thinking that too. Um you know, at first I thought it was the Drake podcast, but uh, but now I know it's yeah, FF's the podcast with Dave Portnoy because yeah. a ton of negativity and controversy has come from that. So yeah, just yeah, that that's the issue is the Dave Portnoy podcast and she didn't want to do that. But she responded to the divorce rumors by saying that they're not true after we know he filed. Right. So he filed, which means she had to be served. So she knew about the divorce. He filed July 4th, August uh, 14th or 12th, whatever it was. Um, so an, a month later, uh, they're talking about divorce rumors and she tells Dave Portnoy it's not true. So she's a liar right on on youtube we we already we've caught her in one she was caught a, a month after filing you know saying this right and we know this for a fact now because the court documents have come out and saying july 4th was the final date right so you can't believe anything that this woman says from here on out just remember that okay remember that I just wanted to clear that up real quick. There's even more speculation that this was some sort of PR stunt, but we may never know for sure. Regardless, the entire situation led to a ton of hate towards Bobby. There's also a lot of speculation that her and her husband did actually get divorced since she's pretty flirty in interviews with some of her guests. And then bring all your single NBA players. Whether or not that's true, she got even more. So I'd like to point out, let's go back. Hold on. She's pretty flirty in interviews with some of her guests. And then bring all I don't know here. Can we see it? All your single on there it is. Okay. So so her ring is gone from her ring finger during the Mark Cuban interview. And I noticed this too. Like there's a there's a bunch of videos and pictures. Some she'll have her ring finger on or a ring on, some she won't. And I, I haven't really been able to match up the dates, but I noticed that it's gone during this, right? So um and the Mark Cuban video um let's see when did that come out give me just a second let's just look at the hi guys welcome to the yep, really yep 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 does it say what the release date six months ago oh here we go um august 3rd august 3rd of 2023 so july 4th august 3rd this is one month after he filed um she doesn't have her ring finger on there right let's or her ring on her ring finger let's go back here 
I, I haven't noticed anybody else point this out. So that's kind of funny. Let's go to uh, the Armani White one. Hi, guys. Uh Hold on. I'm not sure what's going on with their mic stuff, why it's a little... Somebody needs to work on that, putting them in mono or whatever. Uh, here. I'm not really interested in playing that. I just wanted to see. Okay, so the Armani interview. <laughs> so this was released July 9th. One can, I, I'd have to look and see. I don't know if they say it. One can assume that the interview was done, you know, I, I've never seen the interview, so maybe it was done on July 4th. <laughs> you know, maybe it was done July 3rd. I don't know. You know what I mean? But this, the, but she's still wearing, she's still wearing her, her ring on her finger, right? So um, that would one, two, three. So Drake came after that. I'm not sure, you know, when they were recorded, right? But he's in between Armani and Mark Cuban, I guess, right? And so ring on, ring off. I just want to point that out. I haven't heard anybody talk about that or point any of that out, so that's kind of that's kind of interesting to me. Let's keep NBA going. players. Whether or not that's true, she got even more hate after she appeared on the BFF's podcast with Dave Portnoy. A clip of her talking about her Lil Yachty interview, which followed her Drake interview, went viral on Twitter. Because he was awkward. I walked into his house. He didn't even like say hi to me. So then I was like, I said, let's go to the bathroom. So then we go to the bathroom, <laughs> and then we like get out, and then he's like. Um, he's just sitting there with like his two assistants and he's not even acknowledging that I'm like in the room and my oh, camera guy's like my setting up. I'm just sitting there like. I do think this was a little bit out of context though as she did say she really enjoyed the interview. That one we talked for too long. That was like two hours. <laughs> Cause we're like the same age and stuff and it ended up being just like easy to talk to him about like everything. Regardless, this clip really hurt the public opinion of Bobby Altoff. Then as the public began to shift their opinion on her, people began to find many other reasons to dislike her. And I can kind of understand it seeing that little Yachty clip out of context, but Bobby did not let all of the hate stop her. Because of all this hate, a lot of people were saying she fell off, but I don't think. So I'm not gonna keep going through all this the backstory the origins uh you know that kind of thing i just wanted you guys to have kind of like a base knowledge of what the deal was there um you know most of y'all probably already know right let's uh let's she does let's not follow him anymore and he doesn't follow her in a long-awaited revelation drake has broken his silence on the reason behind his decision to unfollow bobby altoff as the story unfolds, Drake's words offer a captivating glimpse into his perspective that sometimes connections undergo shifts that demand consideration. What does that mean? Sometimes connections demand shifts that undergo considerations, right? Like, sounds like you're not, you, you just, you don't want to say it. You know what I mean? I don't know. But anyways, so, you know, I'm not sure if she's a plant. It seems like she is. There's really, uh, there's really nothing to lead me to believe that anything that she has done is organic. And after this, after an interview like this, right, where she's still wearing her ring from ring there, you know what I mean? So I don't know when these were recorded, right? But the, you know, how they came out in succession. Basically, like I said, right? There's there was the Armani White video. Then <laughs> there was this. And then there was this where she's no longer wearing her, her ring. I, I assume here, let's let me just we can look a little more. Maybe, I mean, I love maybe we can see some different shots. And that can be just Yeah, see. I don't know. Let me get a better look, maybe. I'm not doing a very good job, you guys, but of course she's interviewing Mark Cuban, so you know. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything on her finger. And again, when she talked to Dave Portnoy, yeah, there's nothing there. When she talked to Dave, yep, there's, yeah, there's nothing there. When she talked to Dave Portnoy, she said she wasn't getting a divorce. Now, you know, it's fine. 
you know, you don't want to like tell people whatever, you know what I mean? Like this, that, and the other, like, that's fine. But you're now known to be a liar, right? You lied to Dave and, um, and then, you know, we see that it, we see this is true anyways. So I just wanted to go over this, you know, these women, you know, blowing up your relationship, right. For clout, blowing up your marriage for clout. That's, that's crazy, but it seems to be the norm now. It seems to be the norm. What do you guys think? Are you guys okay with your woman doing an interview like this? Right? Like with Drake? Drake! <laughs> right? The dude seems pretty successful. Quiet. Not not like loud on the internet. You know? Thought he, thought he picked the right one to take care of his, you know, his seed, his kids and stuff like that seems to be doing all the right things or did all the right things and uh and then you know you think he signed up for this probably not probably not and you think she's sitting here thinking about hmm, how is this making my husband feel how's it making him look i mean again there's rumor that there you know that there was something that went on here maybe it did maybe it didn't i don't know but for a man to want to break up his family, it's not it's not often that that you're gonna see him do that based off of rumor and speculation. Unless he's just, you know, he is that high up that he doesn't want the scandal, right? That it is possible, but you know, is I, I would just have to think there has to be more than that. I think that it was probably infidelity, right? And again, you know, she denied that anything happened with her and Drake, but we know that she lied about the divorce thing, right? She knew you can't, you, he had to have served her papers if that's what was happening, right? So, um, you know, take it how you will, but industry plant, co bluey on her marriage for clout it looks like and god knows what else anyways hey just chill with bill if you like this info hit this like hit the subscribe help me out other than that y'all have a wonderful day i'm out of here peace